Hey, here's the next tip on health and fat loss and super fitness, okay? Now, one of the things people do, okay, one of the messed up things they do is they try to restructure everything they like to eat, okay? Now, you have to have some balance there. You're going to have to learn to eat your vegetables. If you don't like vegetables, learn to freaking eat them. Grow up, okay? At the same time, there's nothing wrong probably with a lot of the food that you like to eat. It's the way that food is prepared or what's put in that food, all right? This is a pet peeve with me. And the whole point of this tip is this. Learn to make what you like to eat healthy. Because if you like to eat it, and you make it in a way that's healthy, you'll stay on that long term long enough to actually get appreciable goals and fat loss, and ultimately long enough to build real health, which is the real super point behind this whole thing, okay? Here's what I mean by that. It's a pet peeve with me. I hate this. Hate this, okay? You see trainers all the time. Usually they're anorexic looking little people, and I know I'm not a super thin guy. I don't care. I am super healthy and super fit, and I've lost a bunch of weight, 100 pounds. Uh, you know, everybody is what they want to be. I'm what I want to be. If you want to be super ripped, we can get there. All right, I can help you get there, but it's, it all depends on how important it is. Being fit, being lean, yeah. Super ripped is another thing. It depends on what you want, what you're willing to do to get it. Here's my pet peeve on that whole thing since I got off another tangent there. People talk about, oh, you can never eat a cheeseburger while you die. You can never eat that. Listen, why is a cheeseburger evil? Okay? Is meat by itself evil? No. Is bread by itself evil? No. But when you put meat on bread with cheese, does that somehow become evil? Is it that combination? Is there a secret thing that I'm not aware of? Did people in black hoods come out and, you know, put a curses on it? No. Okay? The point is, for most people, it's very calorically dense. And it, where are you getting it, okay? You get to that restaurant, there's other crap in it. It's bad bread. It's bread with a bunch of extra calories and no fiber and no health to it. It's meat that's jacked up. They put 50,000 pounds of condiments on it. Not even so much the cheeseburger, it's the fact that it's followed with, you know, 25 pounds of fries and a Coke and three drinks and eight desserts. And, you know, hey, that's too much at one time. Everybody can get with that. Cheeseburgers themselves, not an evil food, Okay. You make it at home, relatively lean ground beef, natural cheese, real bread, honest-to-God stuff with a couple of ingredients, not, you know, uh, white bread sh shot full of sugar and cyanide or whatever else they're putting in it, okay? Learn to make the food that you like in a healthy manner. Then you can get real health over a long period of time.